Hello there, members of the EDAP 585 class, otherwise known as 585ers. This is the first of a weekly announcement that you will receive that will uh, prepare you for class on Thursday night at 4.30 in room 201G. A couple of house cleaning uh, things to do before we jump right in. Uh, I want to make sure that everyone who is in the great beyond, who is taking the class, as a uh, distance ed class, you are aware that the link here that says 585 recordings is now active. And here is the recording for Thursday night's class, January the 11th. These appear the day after class and are there for you to use. Uh, sometimes these recordings can come up as fast as that evening. And I always check for about... Mm, 45 minutes after class is over with to an hour, and if they are available, I put them up. So just to give you a heads up that these will always be there either that night that the class is met or tomorrow or the next day on a Friday. Now, let's talk about what we're doing. So this Thursday, we will start our exploration of the Stratosphere book uh, by Michael Fullen, Dr. Michael Fullen. And we are going to be using as our foundational place, in other words, where we will be storing it, in this. We'll be using a Google Classroom site that I have set up. We will walk through getting ourselves set up in the Google Classroom come Thursday night. You do not have to do this before class starts. The only thing I asked you to do before class starts is to go in and do a recording on the Flipgrid to do just a simple introduction of yourself so we all uh, recognize each other or know each other since about half of the class is online and half of the class is meeting face to face a true hybrid kind of class what we'll be using to do our understandings of chapters two and three i will do oh by the way about the google classroom see here's the code and everything so it'll be very easy you won't have any trouble uh, I'll be doing a quick PowerPoint about the beginning chapter of uh, Fullen's book. Then we will jump right in and look at something called Pictochart. And once we are here at Pictochart, you will be using my username and password, sbswan02 at louisville.edu, password ULIT241. Don't worry. You will, we will again do this in class. You don't have to do anything before class. Um, and you're going to be asked to create your understanding of Mayer's chapters 2 and 3 through the use of something called an infographic. And as you can see here, we have lots and lots of examples that have been made. So if you need a place to kind of start and think about it, um, go in and use the template. Go in and look at what other people did. It's very, very straightforward. Very simple, um, graphic heavy, so you don't have to do a lot of writing. You just have to do enough writing to help us understand your ideas about chapters two and three. How do we, what do we do with it when we're done? We will come in here and let me actually go to one that has uh, already been created. And as you can see, it was created and it was saved. So we always have to make sure that we save it. And we always have to make sure we give it a new name. And then we will go to share. We will make sure that anyone can view it. The default is only I can see it. But we're going to make sure anyone can view it. And when we do that, we're going to copy this link. And we will then return to our Blackboard space, look for the Padlet on chapters 2 and 3, although this is an infographic for 4 and 5. You're going to click on the plus sign. When you double click, you get a little note thing here. Click on the plus sign. Paste your URL up here. Hit the arrow. And then what will happen is your infographic now becomes a part of our Padlet. Uh, we can click on them and they will open up in their full glory so we can see it, so we can do our gallery walk. 
uh, for the assignment, in other words, what we have to do in live text, we will take that same link address that we just did, and we will go into live text and we will paste it in there. And that's all there is for the assignment. So, there you go. That is Thursday's heads up, what we'll be doing in class on Thursday. I hope you enjoyed the Friday off, and I hope you enjoy your Monday off. It's nice having a four-day weekend. Uh, I will see you on Thursday evening. Remember, collaborate, folks. It's all set up, ready to go. It is always open 45 minutes before class. So if you're having problems, as always, if you are having issues with the Collaborate or anything in this class, do not hesitate me to text at 502-457-2937. See you in class.